Today's Good Health segment is brought to you by Horizon Health. Have you heard of the term sober curious? The movement has been driven by a rise in people rethinking their drinking habits and it goes well beyond dry January. The trend following a boom in alcohol free spirits and even alcohol free bars. Zanel Asimov brings us sober curiosity simply explained. Sweeping declaration. I am never getting drunk again <laughs> as long as I live. Today, more young people are rethinking their alcohol consumption. 62% of adults under 35 say they drink. That's down from 72% two decades ago. How many of you consider yourselves sober curious? A couple of months ago, I stopped drinking alcohol. Uh, and one of the things that's really helped me is um, the range of no and low alcohol drinks that are available. The movement has many terms like no low beverages and sober curious. Put simply, it's all about people who are curious about sobriety. Quick history lesson. From 1920 to 1933, the U.S. restricted the production, import, transport, and sale of alcohol, the Prohibition era. But as long as people have been freely drinking in the U.S., they've also been trying to stop. The term sober curious popping up around 2018 after being coined by author Ruby Warrington. There was a very binary attitude to alcohol addiction, I suppose. You were either an alcoholic and therefore you had to stop, or you were a normal drinker. What the Sober Curious movement has shone a light on is actually you don't have to have a drinking problem for drinking to be a problem for you. The shift seen in booze-free bars and groups like Absence of Proof, which host pop-up gatherings around New York. The rise of sober curiosity coming along with new trends, like Dry January, beginning as a public health campaign back in 2013. Just last month, a quarter of Americans participating for the new year. With global sales of no and low alcohol products reaching more than $13 billion last year. It's no longer for those who are really kind of out on the fringe of trying new things. It's a mainstream product. Marcus Seiki founded Ritual Zero Proof, a non-alcoholic spirits company, one of many now on the market. A critique of zero proof liquors or mocktails has often been, this is just glorified water or expensive soda. I think with the rise of non-alcoholic spirits, you can have that same complexity that you would have with a regular cocktail, but none of the, the negative effects of alcohol. Sober curious communities hoping to normalize the benefits of booze-free living. I think when I first removed alcohol, I thought about it as a loss, you know, I'm, I'm losing something fun in my life. And when I reframe that to think about all the things that I was gaining rather than losing by taking alcohol away, my time, my energy, my mental health, it made it way more exciting. It really is a net positive rather than a loss. And that sober curiosity simply explained. We want to let you know about a safe sitter class being offered at Horizon Health Education Center in Paris, Illinois. It's for boys and girls aged 11 to 13 and will be happening on Friday, March 29th from 8.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. I think this is spring break for a lot of area schools. And so again, it is being offered in conjunction with that time. You can register by March 22nd at myhorizonhealth.org. You uh, have the opportunity to register your child 11 to 13 to learn about important, safe, sitting skills. Stay with us. We'll be right back.